President, Prime Minister, welcome to the European Parliament and thank you for assuming this important role of leadership on behalf of all of the European Union in these important times. Let me address two topics. Firstly, competitiveness. The Swedish government is absolutely right to put in competitiveness high on the agenda of the European Union in this first half of the year because we can only ensure high standards of living in Europe. We can only ensure high social standards if our economy is competitive, if our economy is strong, if we produce goods that are uh, demanded on the global markets. To support the competitiveness of our economy, in the Conference on the Future of Europe, Prime Minister, we have proposed the introduction of a competitiveness check at European level which means that whenever the European Commission will propose legislation in the future, it should make sure that this improves, it strengthens the competitiveness of our economy, it does not affect it. And the Prime Minister, my kind request to you is to make sure that we work together, because this idea was supported in the Conference on the Future of Europe by governments, by Commission, by citizens, by European Parliament and national parliaments. Let's work together for this idea to see the light of the day. Second topic, the enlargement of the Schengen area. Unfortunately, under the previous EU presidency, we could not unanimously agree on the accession of Bulgaria and Romania to the Schengen area, although these countries fulfill all of the required uh, conditions, as the European Commission has repeatedly said. This is why, Prime Minister, let us keep this topic high on the agenda to make sure we can fulfill this commitment, because as the accession of Finland and Sweden to NATO would make us all safer, the accession of Bulgaria and Romania to uh, the Schengen area would also make us all safer. Thank you very much.